are many uh, advice. For example, I read what can I do to strengthen my dignity. So uh, we thank you again, Mrs. Ingrid Lindman, for uh, this present. And uh, uh, maybe you don't know we are on online. We are um, live on Facebook. So maybe she is also <laughs> following this event. So you can find uh, all the uh, session we will have on Facebook. If you like to see again or to share on you know, Facebook or Women Federation for World Peace Europe. Okay, then I I would like to welcome Mrs. Lubica Mandeson, President of Women Federation for World Peace in Slovakia. She is a high school teacher with a specialization on biology and um, European studies in the Bilingual International School in Bratislava, Slovakia. She has experience in child-based education as well as European history and values, involved in the international competition for young people and cooperate with the European Parliament and the Commission. She is a member also of the European Teacher Testing Panel which prepares and supervises educational material on EU for school in Europe. She has come with a very special and interesting topic, sexual, sexual education. Uh, you may wonder uh, what is the connection between sexual education and identity. This is a very sensitive topic that touch on the identity and personal sphere of many young people in our countries. Surely, surely you know that um, uh, has become a subject of uh, education at school in many nations in Europe, starting from kindergarten. This uh, material, uh, so Rubika will talk to us about her experience in this field, about the teaching brought into school from you and about what our young people would need. So the floor is your. You have 15 minutes because later we will open for question and answer. So in case <coughs> you have some question, please write down and we will be time later. Thank you. Good morning. Um, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, I will start um, before presentation is fixed. Uh, so why did I choose this topic? Um, what type of safe education our children need? Slovakia, uh, recent uh, time period, uh, there was issued a book on text, textbook for schools. Uh, I have it here. You can look at it later. And uh, we were uh, as, as teachers, but also as Federation members, we were community, and we felt that uh, it is good to give some points from you know to, to have something to say to this topic. Okay. Um, uh -huh. um, these are our founders, Reverend and Mrs. Moon. And they were always promoting uh, ethical and moral education for uh, young people and for everybody. So this is our vision as Women Federation. And uh, um, the family is the center of our focus. 
So this is the answer, it's a very simple answer uh, about certification. And this is the healthy and functioning family. But uh, the things today are more complex. Um, so the goal of this presentation is to raise awareness on this topic also to draw attention to basic documents in Europe, uh, provoke discussion and also discuss the role of uh, teachers and parents and uh, at the end create network of experts on this topic. These are the books which were issued and these books actually provoked us to create a panel discussion and we call also some experts, um, doctors and uh, lecturers on this topic and we had two successful um, panel discussion where we invite teachers, we invited um, uh, parents and uh, it was very success successful because uh, we could feel a lot of interest from uh, parents and teachers and those who were invited. Um, there are um, different opinions on sexual education in schools. Uh, somebody told me that uh, he thinks uh, that uh, sexual education is not needed because also in the past children were born and uh, there was no such a topic in schools. But of course we live uh, in more complex uh, world today and especially some topics are very important to address. For example, uh, you know, with the uh, social media development, uh, cyberbullying, social network, uh, inappropriate uh, grooming on children, also pornography is an issue. But of course, uh, what we teach in biology are basic knowledge on human reproductive system, uh, and information about conception and uh, prenatal development and so on and also information about sexually transmitted diseases and uh, contraception, abortion, everything but it should be guided in a proper way. Uh, what um, I personally also think is important uh, to teach uh, these are social skills so not only how uh, sexuality works, but uh, how we can cooperate, uh, teamwork, because a family is a team. So it's very important to teach children these skills. Also communication, problem solving, because many, today there are many divorces in society and uh, maybe um, it, it could be solved why if children are trained or young people are trained in a, a good way to work together, solving problems, communicate more on deeper topics and things like that. Um, um, when I when I was uh, when I started to teach, uh, most children in Slovakia were coming from families with both parents, where they were both parents. But nowadays, more and more, there are children from divorced families. And uh, to find a child from functioning family in our school is really almost uh, a rarity. It is more and more precious. So now I would like to speak about the basic documents uh, which uh, are valid or which were prepared on sexuality education in Europe. And these are the standards 
uh, which were issued by World Health Organization in 2010. And they uh, give some recommendation how to teach uh, these topics. I have these documents here, uh, so you can look if somebody has interest. It is 63 pages here, so you can study. But uh, I would like to read just one uh, short part. Uh, and this is, um, okay, this is the document. And I would like to just read um, what is the development of sexual education in schools in Europe. And it's in Western and uh, Eastern Europe. So basically in uh, Western Europe, it started already in 60s, 70s of the last century. And today, it is already compulsory uh, subject in all schools uh, to teach according to these standards. Uh, in Central West Eastern Europe, uh, there, there was 20 years delay because of communism, and uh, we still don't have it adapted, for example, in Slovakia, but there is strong push that we will have it in our schools. But we uh, opposed uh, the, the document in certain uh, points. These are con points of controversy. For example, premature sex initiation uh, start of the age, uh, they start age zero to four years. Uh, uh, promoting early age masturbation and uh, speaking about sexuality, sex feeling at the age already four to six. And you can see there are many other points. Uh, this uh, document is uh, prepared from a um, materialistic point of view and uh, the spiritual point of view is missing. So, for example, this is one uh, poster for children. Uh, uh, how do I know that I am ready? And uh, there is uh, the question, survey for a child. Uh, and the first question is, uh, if you are 15 years old, so you can start to have first um, a relation, sex relationship. And there are other topics or questions. And if a child uh, has a partner and uh, the partner wants to have sexual relationship, and uh, if, uh, of course, they should know about contrast section and safe sex. So this is what sex education is teaching. Uh, then it is okay uh, to start have sexual relationship at the age of 15. Um, these are books we prepared in Slovakia, the new one, and uh, you can see this is for uh, middle school uh, or high school and for the age of uh, uh, yeah, like primary school and then 10 to 15. We commented uh, and uh, point out certain uh, things we don't agree. For example, there is too wide uh, age range uh, in textbook number two, 10 to 15. It is too wide for, uh, uh, because the development is very special um, in uh, eight, uh, in 10 years old and 15. I don't want to go uh, through it. Uh, I just want to show some points. Uh, this is what teaching on uh, uh, self-expression and identity. So for example, a person has uh, sex, uh, biological sex, then sexual attraction, which can be different from biological sex, 
and then uh, it has gender identity, which can be, again, completely different. So this can raise confusion. Uh, they have also such uh, uh, exercise in this book. So there is a line between masculinity and femininity, and children can draw when they feel they are on this scale. If they are more masculine or more feminine, or it is changing even. So uh, um, this is the situation for, I would say, healthy functioning uh, child, uh, mind and body unity. So this is biological sex is in harmony with uh, sexual uh, orientation and gender, but then uh, it can, if we uh, uh, teach this gender agenda, it can lead to mind and body disunity when my mind fights against my body. Yeah, if I'm a woman and my in my mind I think I'm a man, so it is a fight. Uh, it brings confusion, uh, insecurity, disintegrity of a person, mental disorder. Okay, uh, okay, I need to finish. More and more young people search to their uh, psychological health. Okay, I will quickly go through it. Uh, if you want, uh, you can read it. I can send it to you. So, uh, we should teach children the truth uh, about transgender. I have more things to say about it. So, uh, what is our role as educators? To calm children, confirm the true gender, understand them, accompany them, cooperate with experts. These are some useful uh, materials for study. In Slovakia, we have education for marriage and parenthood. And the goals of education uh, are here. Uh, and uh, so we lead children towards harmony, uh, partner relationship, harmonious and uh, responsible parents. Uh, and this is my suggestion that um, people, many experts, should come together on European level. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Lubica, thank you very much. <laughs> I think I think maybe some questions will come so that you can explain even more uh, what is a good proposal we can make for can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. So maybe through some question we can hear more about uh, what kind of proposal we can do to uh, offer a good education, sexual education at school, because anyway this topic is already <laughs> everywhere. Uh, we, we can find a way to give a, a, a good information, good knowledge uh, in, to the children. Uh, not only based on sexual education, but also to moral value, because uh, this sphere is very much connected. Okay, so uh, I don't want to take more time. Please, uh, if you have questions for the speakers, you are free. Some question already? It's a question, okay. <laughs> Somebody, uh, we have a man, very courageous to broke the ice. Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you very much for addressing the issue. Is that okay? Thank you. Uh, my name is Josef Zumbacher and I work as a, actually uh, since the last years as a, um, in Austria in a working group also on, on uh, addressing the issues of sex education. I myself is a wrote also a book uh, that's called Principles of True Love and Sexuality. It's still in Germany I'm, and I hope it, it will be translated so what I uh, really want to mention is uh, I think 
absorb it. But it's going to be a very difficult topic as an African mother to really listen to my child come talk to me about sex education at the age of 15. So did you take into consideration that among your community in Slovakia, there are African families. How do you approach them? And how do you let them come to terms? That is a normal topic to talk about. Coming from the point of UK, our consenting age is 18. Does it mean that in Slovakia it's 15? Did you take that into consideration too? Thank you. Um, what I saw. It's okay now. Um, I, what I cite this age of 15, this is according to European standard, uh, which uh, is recommended by World Health Organization. But of course, we criticize it, and that's why we came with this uh, topic here uh, to provoke discussion. It's, it doesn't mean we agree with this.
teachers shouldn't be present. <laughs> teachers, uh, we are there without the presence of teachers. So of course they're not happy, so I say thank you very much. Uh, but I know that they are coming to the school in Slovakia now. These students, and uh, from one student from uh, medical uh, fac faculty, I heard that actually they are pushing them in this faculty Sorry, if there are other questions, maybe we can use uh, lunch time to share, ask. And uh, I'm very happy to see that uh, this, uh, there is awareness of the problem <laughs> in the audience. So we all know what we are facing. And but I believe that uh, with our expertise, uh, we can create a net and uh, have a counter proposal supporting each other bringing our skills and uh, because I know for example the Italy Catholic Church uh, is against this uh, but I didn't see any real propo proposal effectively so maybe we, we are the one that we can make it and uh, uh, create then cooperation with other organizations that have the same viewpoint and um, I am going to conclude the section here um, yes, it has been uh, touched many points about uh, identity. Also, there would be much more to say. What I believe is the uh, time that women can take ownership and leadership with their. With, so, uh, we all need to become stronger women, but uh, be able to take, uh, to embrace also, and uh, keep our lovely and motherly heart what we are doing because this is what the world needs now. So thank you for your attention and uh, just uh, there is a special uh, special surprise <laughs> I want to invite here uh, Mrs. Marco Mori and uh, Mrs. Tona for uh, and, uh, the speakers here in front, on the front line for a special hour. <laughs> So this hour is given to Ingrid Lindemann and Magda, we thank for, for her. And um, so one of the days we will be on behalf of his co-founder, Dr. Samyamun and Dr. Kacharmu, and all the uh, discipline of human, um, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, is proud to recognize the award as a global woman peace ambassador based on their exemplary accomplishments, accomplishment there, women's leadership. Global women peace ambassador are peace leader representing the religious, uh, racial, and ethnic, ethnic diversity of the human family and the disciplines of human endeavor. They stand on the common ground of shared value and are committed to the path of promoting reconciliation, overcoming barriers, and building peace. They already demonstrated so much in what they did.